Hey everybody, we're going to do some science experiments today. I love sharing some learning with you. And today we've got all sorts of science beakers in different sizes. And obviously our safety goggles that we're going to put on. And we're going to fill these up with water and do some color experimentation. So we're going to see what colors mix and match to make what. It's going to be a lot of fun and I can't wait to share it with you. But to get started, we need some water in some of these beakers. So let's snap our fingers and get some water. I filled up two of the beakers this tall skinny one and this short fat one. Volume is how much water is in each beaker. Which beaker do you think has more water? That would be an estimate. Which one do you estimate has more water? This one, so tall. Or this one, which is so short. But this one is very wide and this one is very skinny. Do you know which one has more water? Let me start by telling you this. This one has 250 milliliters of water. This one has, are you ready? 1,000 milliliters of water. That's a lot more. Which one did you guess had more? Were you right? Very cool. Science is all about learning. Let's start with some more beakers and start mixing some colors. You know what? I wonder if we're gonna make a mess pouring all this water. But in science, sometimes you have to get a little messy to make things work. So we're gonna pour a little water in each of these beakers. And then we're going to start creating colors. And I've got some special tablets over here to help us make colors. In the first beaker, what color do you think we're gonna make it? Do you know what color that is? Blue. We've got a very awesome blue color. Now, what other colors can we make? Are you ready? Dropping it in. And, oh, my spoon's almost too big to mix it. Can you tell what color we're making? It's getting brighter. It's a yellow. Now we have blue and yellow. I wonder what color we'd get if we mixed blue and yellow. Do you know? Let's see if we can figure it out. We've got a handy dandy beaker here. And we are going to mix colors like real scientists and get something new. So we've got a little bit of yellow. Now we're gonna add a little bit of blue. Did you see the color change? It's the same color as our tablecloth. Wow, so we took this color and this color and made green. Now we can mix green with other colors and get more colors. It's so cool. Let's see, I've got another color tablet over here so we can create some more colors. Time for the last one. Let's see what we get. Do you know what color that is? Red. We have the color red. That's awesome. Now we have red, blue, yellow, and green. Are you ready to do some more mixing? Let's see what red and yellow make. Here we go. We're gonna put in some of our yellow and some of our red. It's like magic. What color is that? It's the color orange. Whoa, here, take a closer look. 
We made a whole new color. This is so much fun. Look at all of these exciting colors. I had so much fun sharing all this cool science with you. And look, I got my hands have the red all over them. <laughs> but that's okay. Sometimes it's okay to get a little messy when you're learning. Because learning is so important. Now, we're going to mix one more color before we go. Do you know which two colors we're going to mix together? Can you guess? Will it be green, blue, red, yellow, or orange? Da 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 da. We're going to do blue and red. Let's mix them together and see what we get. Here's a really good looking beaker. And we're going to pour in the red. Thirty mLs of red or thirty milliliters. We have our red. Now here's the blue. What color do we have? Purple! You can still see some of the red at the bottom where it hasn't mixed. Give it a little shake. And purple! A whole new color. We took the blue and we took the red and we made purple. This has been so much fun. Thank you for sharing this cool science experiment with me. And be sure to keep a lookout because we're going to open up our rock polisher real soon and check out those polished rocks that have been in there for almost a month, getting smooth and shiny. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.